Hey, this is Chris with the Collision Hub, and we are back live on the NACE floor in Orlando, Florida, continuing the training on Repair University from the stage area. Now, we've got with us Doug Gann from Airbag Solutions. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome, Chris, and thank think, you for having me. I think some of the times we start through the repair process, and airbags are kind of some of the last things we do, right? It's the right before the alignment. That's correct. So, you know, sometimes it can be our bottleneck issue on Friday on delivery of the car when we realize, uh-oh, there's something else from that airbag that I needed, and maybe that's on back order. And you guys do a great job of, you've got a product that really fixes that for the shop because that issue doesn't start with the technician, that issue starts with the estimator. That's right. And that's where Airbag Solutions comes in. So share with us a little bit about the product and how it works for the estimators. Okay. Airbag Solutions was developed by an um, installation company, um, our company originally. When we used to go out to jobs and the shops would call us to come install the airbags, they'd say, go ahead and put it in, and we'd get there and they wouldn't have half the pieces they need. So we created a photographic database of what's exactly needed for every vehicle. So that when the shop would call us and say, hey, we've got a job with an airbag, what do we need to order? We tell them before we get there. And it's easy to use because it goes year, make, model, and it's real simple. It's manufacturer required components that are required for replacement after deployment. And what the appraisers and estimators are missing leaves the shop vulnerable at the end of the day when it's time to deliver the car they don't have what they need. Right. right. I think I'll, when I'm searching through the product, I know when I, if I start to write an estimate that's got an airbag on it, it's, it's the first place I'm going to go. And I, I notice sometimes frequently now there are parts on there I'm supposed to be checking that I would have never even thought to look at those as part of my airbag inspection process. We know we look at the seats, we check the belts for frays, we, you know, well, we check the tensioners, but there's some things yep. we're forgetting. So, and these photographs yep. uh, that are part of it are just so super helpful. So, if a shop's going to write an estimate and start with the product, let's walk through how they do it. Okay, when they get the vehicle, they need to know what they're going to be looking for. Every manufacturer and every car is different. Um, for instance, in 2008, Honda made probably a half a dozen cars. The Honda Fit has seat belts that deploy in the anchor and in the belt. The Honda Civic has a seat belt pretensioner that deploys the belt and the buckle. The Honda Accord deploys only a buckle. So even in the same model year, the manufacturer mixes up what components are required. And that's what's important to, to know what to look for. I think that's a good point to make is that, you know, when I talk to a lot of shops or, or estimators, appraisers from insurance part, they think that the matrix that's within the estimating system has got them covered. No, 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 if I need to know to look something. But because of those varieties, the matrix is just too generic. That's right. The matrix just says seatbelt pretensioners. But unless you know what you're looking for and which ones deploy and how they deploy, you won't know. Um, Airbag Solutions has photographs of, of the specific components and what they look like, whether they need, um, whether they come with the airbag or whether they are separate. We identify exactly what's necessary. Uh, this is a great tool. So when, when you're walking through it, um, I, I notice that sometimes you guys have got some tips in there. So yep. those tips have probably come across some, some scenarios that you guys have run, in, run through. Exactly. What are some brands right now that have some airbag issues that we probably need to be aware of? Um, not so much airbag issues, but um, across the board, things that are not covered, uh, like a clock spring. Um, that's one of the biggest gray areas is, is whether or not a car needs a clock spring. And every manufacturer has its own requirement. Um, some require a clock spring every time the vehicle, uh, the driver's airbag is deployed, like Chrysler. Some require to check it only unless to see if it's melted, like Hyundai. Um, there is actually one Hyundai model that requires a clock spring, all the others don't. Right. So you have to know specifically which ones to look for, and the matrix will tell you check the clock spring, but you need to know are you looking for a melted wire, are you looking for a required replacement component, are you looking for a broken circuit inside. And that's where it's important to have the right information. Now, the estimating system matrix, matrices have generic drop-down screens or they have two or three pages of script that you need to read through. If this, then that. If that, then C, column C. And it's, nobody has time in the field to read these notes. Right. So we've compiled an online photographic database that you can look at and in 30 seconds you will know every component that's required whether it's a front deployment, a side deployment, a seatbelt deployment, or the light is just on. 
what it takes. Right, and that's an important part because I think in most repair facilities and, and whether it's in the insurance companies, most of our estimators or appraisers may or may not have at one point been technicians. So mm -hmm. even if I've got a matrix of data that's telling me what to look at, I'm not an engineer, I may not have been a tech, so I don't know what to look at until you show me. Right. Um, and I know after using the product, I found so many things I was missing. Because now I was like, that's what that looks like. Yep. I know yep. how to go find that now. So. Well, we've got, um, this is a Honda, uh, looks like an Odyssey, I believe. That has two front sensors that are required when there's a front deployment. And you need to know where these sensors are located. And that on this particular model, the bumper has to be removed. So it may be three-tenths of an hour for the sensor replacement, but you've got to write the hour and a half to R&R &R the bumper. Right. So that's another value add, is that using the tool can help you make sure you're not missing any additional labor operations. Right. That Because yep. we all know when it's Friday and the car's got to go, it, it's then more, not the mentality of the estimates, the mentality of getting back to the customer, and sometimes we do things we don't charge for. So yeah. yep. um, it's kind of great. Yep. So uh, across the board, you've got a lot of shops using the product. We do. What's we some of the feedback been? We had an email yesterday, um, not yesterday, the day before from a customer, first time user, who said he wanted to congratulate us. Um, 30 minutes from when he bought the subscription to when the car was delivered, he had an airbag light on and didn't know what to do. Subscribed, read our instructions, saw what was required, and delivered the vehicle. And he wow. says it's it better than blundering through the internet or calling the dealer or, or delaying the delivery. Right. So. That's the kind of feedback that we get. Um, we haven't had anybody that was disappointed. Uh, a lot of people think that their matrix covers what we offer, and it doesn't. Um, it gets close, and we do it differently. We do it with photographs so that you can see exactly what you need. Right. One of the, one of the biggest things that are coming about is that the models are changing year after year after year. Um, new innovations are coming out. We're looking at 2013 and 2012 vehicles that are different than the 2010 and 2011s. Um, Chrysler has now come out, not for the domestic market, but for the European market, with a uh, pedestrian protection system, which has sensors in the bumper that are different than the impact sensors, a control unit under the driver's seat that's different from the airbag control unit, and hood um, uh, detonators that will pop the hood up about six inches if it senses there's going to be a pedestrian impact. Now this is a new protection system that's, that's just starting to come out, but it has its own requirements. It's part of the occupant and pedestrian protection systems. And when these adjusters go out and they look and they see a hood popped up about four inches, they're gonna say, oh, just put some hinges in and adjust it. There is a whole set of requirements for this. Are they going to think somebody was just messing with the battery cable? Yeah. <laughs> right before yeah. the estimate. So, well, and, you know, it, those passenger deployment systems have been out in, in Europe for a while, and we actually, mm -hmm. in the Futurist panel opening yep. on Wednesday, we talked about the idea that those are going to be coming into the market. And we may realistically be looking at a potential accident with it that involves eight to ten airbags in the car. That's right. And even though you may be just one deploy, the driver airbag, we still got to check all of those systems before that car re-delivers. Yeah, one of the biggest steps that are missed are the diagnostic steps. When a car is first in, uh, brought to the shop, many manufacturers require that you hook a diagnostic tool up, read the codes, some require you clear them because there may be old history codes that are not pertinent, and then determine what components are required to replace it. So that's Honda has, that's another example, Honda Acura has uh, changed over the years from read and replace to read, clear, and replace. It's always constantly changing. I remember, I think it was like four, four or five years ago when I first ran into you guys, actually on the NACE floor, walked up, looked at the product, and said, I don't need that, I got the Matrix. Yep. And then uh, I got talked into trying it and realized that the Matrix was really letting me down. I was really missing a lot of opportunities. I was getting a lot of needless supplements in the estimates by not knowing a lot of things up front when I was, before the technician even got the car. So That's it's that. a great product, Doug. I really appreciate well, it. Now, you. shops and people that want to try it can just go to the website, right? Sign yep. up for a trial. Yep. For online subscriptions, um, you can buy a daily use. You can buy monthly, depending on how many airbags you're going to repair, or you can have annual access 24-7, all different levels of subscriptions, so that you can determine what you need and how often you need it. Right. If you're doing one airbag a month, then, then a simple single day would do it. But if you're seeing more than three airbag component jobs in your, in your monthly sales, then you want to have a monthly or an annual subscription. Um, the cost for one supplement to repair runs between three and $600. 
for the parts missed, the towing to the dealership, the labor charges at the dealership, and the delay in extra rental charges adds up quickly. A subscription for Airbag Solutions is $499.95, $500 a year. You save one supplement in a year, and you've just paid for this product. Right. Yeah, even not even the towing and the rental that's involved there, just the customer satisfaction of yep. delivering the car when you said you're going to and not having to call them back and saying, I'm so sorry I missed a part. So, you know, I took that challenge a couple of years ago and tested it out for a month, and just even in a short month, I was able to save time, parts, supplements, and a lot of customer frustration. So I, I challenge you to go on, sign up for a month worth of service, put it in a workflow with at least just one of your estimators, let them try it out. You're going to have that car that you're going to come across. It's going to change the way you write your estimates. It's going to change your customer experience. So, Doug, I appreciate it. Oh, We're going to catch up with you a little bit later in, in right. the year. I know you got some things that are coming out. Um, so be sure and go back to Airbag Solutions website. Give it a visit. There's a little test drive portion on there, and then sign up for a day or a month. I promise you, you won't be sorry. So stay tuned to Repair University. We're going to be back live here in a little bit later. We've got so much more training for you throughout the day. Coming up at 12:30, we're going to be talking about the new mails, the new the new metals, high strength steels, and repairing them. Stay tuned. Kristen, thank you.